Hey guys, Bob here from Raw Strength and Muscle, and today we're going to talk about how hard it is to get shredded, okay? Now, first of all, when I say shredded, I don't mean negative 0% body fat, like one of those dying bodybuilders on stage where they get lean, 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 and very lean for like two minutes on stage, and then they balloon up and they're fat as fuck for the rest of the year. I'm talking about something like this, okay? You can get this lean be healthy this lean, you can sustain being this lean, and you will have like one of the top 0 0.0 whatever physiques in the world if you get and stay this lean, okay? Not shredded, but very, very lean. Now that's going to be a different level for every person, okay? How lean you can get, okay? It depends upon, largely upon genetics, okay? But it also depends a lot upon your diet, your workouts, your discipline, and most importantly, we'll talk about this later, your mental attitude, okay? So, um, I think that I am uniquely qualified to talk about getting and staying lean because that is how I did the first few years of my fitness journey, okay? I was fat, I was very out overweight, uh, very out of shape, I wanted to get shredded, I did. I got shredded in under four months, I lost almost 40 pounds of fat, so I did it and I stayed lean, okay? I started experimenting with, you know, adding in some body weight calisthenics to build a little muscle, a little strength, but I stayed lean that whole time as well. And as a matter of fact, I think that's the reason why I exploded in strength and size when I started eating to gain muscle and strength, as well as training with weighted calisthenics to build muscle and strength, okay? So after being lean, lean, lean for so long, I really set myself up to explode in strength and size when I added weights, trained to grow, and ate to grow, okay? Now, I'm about as big as I really want to be, okay? I'm about as strong as I want to be. Of course, I have my weak points, the things I want to improve like everybody else does, but by and large, I am about as big and strong as I want to be, so I am going to go back to getting and staying very lean. That's going to be my main priority probably for the next uh, rest of my life, next couple of years, I don't know, but for the foreseeable future. Okay, so like I said, I'm qualified to talk about this. Now, let me just go ahead and say that there are two different types of people who need to get lean, okay? There's the person who was lean before, he was in great shape, and for some reason, illness, injury, you know, personal issues, whatever, he fell off and he gained weight. Now he has to lose 10, 15, maybe 20 pounds to get really lean again, okay? But he has been that lean. I am there right now, okay? I need to lose 10, maybe 15 pounds and I'm gonna feel good about myself again, okay? Um, then the other type of person is somebody who's got a dad bod. They've got muscle, they got strength, they got shape, but they've never really been lean, okay? Uh, or a person who's just fat, you know, always been overweight or a person who's morbidly obese. I've had all three as my personal training clients. I've had people like, hey, I've got a dad bod. I can put on size easily, but I've never really been lean. I got people like, dude, I'm just fat. I've always been fat. And I, I, I don't even know how it's possible to not be fat. And I've had people who say like, Bob, I'm morbidly obese. Like I can't even walk because my joints and my spine and everything hurts just from the weight. I need to lose some weight fast. Okay. So like I said, those are basically the two types. Now, when I say those are the two types, okay, because the question is going to come up, how hard is it to get lean? It is just as hard for somebody to lose the last 10 to 15 pounds and get really lean as it is for a person who's very overweight to get normal, okay? Even though a person can be very overweight, he might have to lose 100, 150, 200 pounds or more to get normal, it's no harder to do that than it is for a lean person to lose, like I said, the last 10, 15 pounds to get very lean and stay there, okay? So, like I said, those are basically the two types of people it's going to be hard for everybody. The difference really here is going to come not from the method that you use per se, but from the mindset. Because the method I recommend everybody use in terms of getting lean is going to be an extreme diet. I recommend you get as lean as possible, as quickly as possible, but no more quickly. Now, what does that mean? 
if you are already, you've already been lean and you just have 10, 15, 20 pounds to lose, why should you take it slow and just eat one less cookie a day and take two and a half years to get lean when you could go ahead and hit it hard, lose a bunch of weight, maybe pull it back, hit it hard, lose a lot of weight, maybe pull it back, hit it hard, boom, you're done. You've already got, you've already leaned out. Okay, you know it's possible, so you've got a positive mental attitude because you've done it before, and you know it's going to be hard, so you're not scared of anything, you're not surprised by anything because you've done it before, okay, and you can go ahead and do it really quickly because it doesn't take a whole lot of time to lose that last bit of weight if you hit it hard. On the other hand, the person who's got a dad bod, never been lean, the fat person who's always been fat, the morbidly obese person, they do not believe it's possible to actually get shredded, okay? Just like a person who's always made minimum wage, everyone in his family's made minimum wage, how is he going to believe it's possible to make a million dollars a year? He just can't wrap his head around it. You could make a blueprint for him and he can't wrap his head around it. He cannot believe he can make a million dollars a year because it's just outside of his realm of possibility. And it's the same thing with an overweight person who's never been lean. They don't believe that they could change their lifestyle, their diet, and intentionally sculpt their physique into what they want it to be, okay? So they need a quick win. They need to not be like, well, I've got, you know, a hundred pounds to lose and oh, yay, I lost a pound in a week and... um 99 more weeks and I'm going to be right where I want to be. 99 weeks. That's like, you know, what, two years? That's that's good. I'm going to have a donut. I'm going to have a dozen donuts. No, I have a dozen donuts every day. I'm going to have two dozen, three dozen, four dozen donuts because fuck it. I'm never going to get lean. I It's impossible. I'm one of those people. I can't get lean. So I'm just going to go ahead and eat donuts for the rest of my life and get my little dopamine rush every time I eat a donut. Okay. A person who's very overweight, overweight, or got a dad bod needs to believe it. They believe it. They get momentum. They get a positive mental attitude. And they actually have an upward spiral as opposed to a downward spiral. Instead of giving up more and more every day, every day they believe more and more. They train harder every day. They diet harder every day. They get more results. And it just goes up and up and up and up. And that's what you want. And the way you do that is by getting results quickly. And the way you get results quickly is by doing an extreme diet. Another thing about doing an extreme diet is... When you have a lot of weight to lose, you are going to lose weight more easily. It's easier to burn fat the more fat that you have. Think of it like this. If I have a million dollars in my bank account and lose my job, okay, or if I have a hundred dollars in my bank account and lose my job, and you come up and you say, can I have ten dollars? I've got a hundred dollars in my bank account. I have no more money coming in and you want to take $10. That's one tenth of my entire amount of money I have. I don't have any money. I'm kind of fucked here as it is. A hundred dollars is a little bit and I, you really want to take one tenth of that? Are you fucking crazy? If I have a million dollars in my bank account, it's going to be like, hey, you know, like you can ask for $10,000 and I'd probably be able to give you $10,000 more easily than the other person give you $10, Okay. So that's the difference between the person who has 15 pounds to lose and the person who has 150 pounds to lose. It's a lot easier to lose a lot of weight. You could go on an extreme diet. You could stay on an extreme diet for a much longer time. I am against fasting. I'm not a fan of fasting, especially extended fasting. But there are people who have under medical supervision not eaten a goddamn thing for an entire year and lost a couple hundred pounds. Not eating shit. Why? Because they have so much weight to lose that it's easy to burn that fat for fuel, okay? They took water and nutritional supplements or whatever, but they did not eat shit, no nutrients for an entire year. And like I said, they just continuously lost fat. So like I said, it makes sense to lose as much fat as possible, go on an extreme diet as long as possible when you are very overweight and the leaner you get, the harder it's going to be. So then you have to start incorporating diet breaks or you have to start increasing your calories, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like I said, Diet as hard as you can, but no harder than you can, okay? So regardless of whether you have the last couple of pounds or a whole lot of pounds to lose, I suggest everybody that goes on an extreme diet gets it done as quickly as possible, okay? The big difference that you're going to have in terms of how hard it is, is going to be your mental attitude, okay? You did not get lean, Okay, for the people who got lean, fell off and have the, you know, and got like 10, 15, 20 pounds to lose, you did not get lean, okay, by eating donuts and fucking sitting on your ass all day. So you know that if you put the work in, that you're going to get the results out. So it's easy for you mentally to eat a chicken breast, to drink a glass of water, okay? 
to go for a walk. It's easy for you to do this because you know this chicken breast is going to preserve my muscles. It's going to satisfy my hunger. This chicken breast is going to build my muscle and I'm burning my fat at the same time, okay? Every time you eat a chicken breast, you're going to have a dopamine rush, basically. You're going to feel good. You're going to be like, yes, I'm defeating the fat person inside of me. I am becoming the top 0 0.0 whatever 1% of people in the world in terms of physique by eating this chicken breast instead of eating this donut. You're going to look forward to eating your healthy food. You're not going to want to eat unhealthy food, okay? So it's going to be easy for you mentally to do this. On the other hand, the big problem that I have with clients who are overweight is, can't I enjoy myself? Can't I have any fun? Can't I drink? Can't I eat crap? Can't I do this? Can't I do this, okay? You can't have all the fun you want. You can't enjoy yourself as much as you want as long as your idea of enjoyment is not tearing your body down and destroying yourself, okay? If your idea of enjoying yourself is sucking down donuts and beer and cigarettes and watching Netflix and not doing shit and being on your ass, no, you cannot enjoy yourself because that shit's not enjoyable. It's counterproductive, okay? It's like cutting off your fucking dick, okay? I enjoy cutting off my dick. Okay, you're a fucking moron because you don't have a dick anymore. Plus, it hurts to cut off your dick. Plus, you bleed a lot, okay? Okay, so it is stupid to enjoy cutting off your dick. Why don't you enjoy something productive instead? Okay, so you need to change your whole attitude. Every time that you look at a donut, you need to realize that's what fucked you up in the first place. That's the reason why you have high blood pressure. That's the reason why your joints hurt. That's the reason why your back hurts. That's the reason why I have sleep apnea. That's the reason why no bitches want to fuck you. That's the reason why you can't get up off of a fucking sofa without one, two, three. Okay, one. Two, three, three. Okay, that's the reason why. That's the reason why. That's the reason why. That's the reason why. You want that beer? That's the reason why you're fat. You want that fucking shit? That's the reason why fucking even Viagra can't get your shit up. Okay? Do you want that fucking donut now? Do you really want that donut? Is that what you enjoy? If you enjoy that little dopamine hit from the donut, from the beer, from the cigarette, from watching Netflix, from not fucking doing shit, you better fucking enjoy the consequences as well. Or you can retrain your brain by thinking every time that you have a donut, you're fucking yourself. Every time you have a chicken breast, you're feeding yourself, you're fueling yourself, you're becoming a better person. Where am I going to be a year from now if I eat donuts every day? Where am I going to be a year from now if I eat chicken breasts every day? Well, I don't care about a year and it's so long in the future. First of all, grow up and think long term. Second, you're going to hopefully, unless you die of a fucking heart attack, you fat fuck, hopefully you're going to be alive in a year and you're either going to have eaten donuts for this year or you're going to have to eat chicken breast for this year and you're going to have either you're going to either look like somebody who's eating donuts all year or somebody who's eating chicken breasts all year i've done a video about this before i'll link it down below and i talked about the concept of kill the boy you need to kill the person inside of your head that's making you fat you need to kill the person inside of your head that likes binge drinking you like to kill the person inside of your head who enjoys smoking cigarettes you have to kill the person inside of your head who enjoys netflix instead of the gym you have to kill the person inside of your head who enjoys fucking donuts you have to kill that person that person no longer exists he is no longer in your body and all you want to do is positive shit okay so, like I said, think about the consequences of everything that you do. Think about the donut. Like, okay, that donut is the reason why I can't fucking get laid. That donut is the reason why I can't see my dick because my gut hangs over my fucking cock. That donut is the reason why I can't stand up off of a fucking couch. That donut is the reason why I have high blood pressure. That donut is the reason why I fucking I'm a joke and nobody and people fucking laugh at me. Okay, so the facts of the matter is you need to see that is a negative thing and you need to take enjoyment from doing good things. I enjoy my life. Do I enjoy smoking cigarettes? I used to smoke cigarettes. I'll admit it bigger than shit. I smoked cigarettes more than any. I smoked more cigarettes than anybody watching this shit. I was a chain smoking motherfucker. I lived in Europe at the time. I hung out with Russians, Turks, Germans. I fucking smoke. I, when you have fucking like Eastern Europeans telling you you smoke a lot, you know you smoke a lot. And I was a fucking big smoker and I enjoyed it. And guess what? These days I enjoy fucking other things. You know, like I said, instead of enjoying donuts, instead of enjoying fucking sitting on my ass, instead of enjoying drinking beer, smoking cigarettes, being overweight, these days I enjoy, I'm not even in good shape, okay? But this shirt is tight around the top and loose around my waist. I enjoy not being in shape and being in better shape than anybody else. I enjoy not being in shape, walking down the street and guys are looking at me like, fuck dude, that guy's in shape. Walking down the street and chicks being like, holy fucking horse shit. Like that's the fucking point where I get fucking my enjoyment from. Like I get my enjoyment from like going on the beach and fucking taking off fucking my clothes instead of being ashamed of myself with my clothes on. 
okay? Like you're sitting there with a fucking white t-shirt on the beach, fucking completely fucking bloated, hanging out of the t-shirt. I mean, you might as well take it off. It's obvious that you're fat and you're scared to take your t-shirt off. And you're like, well, I get fun. Can I enjoy myself? I enjoy eating donuts. Do you enjoy being ashamed of yourself? Do you enjoy the fucking health ramifications? The biggest problem that people have in terms of losing weight and getting in shape and getting healthy is they quote, enjoy shit that is fucking them over. Okay. It's fucking stupid. It's fucking ridiculous. It's got to fucking change. Okay. So the idea is this, like I said, the reason why that person who's been in shape and who has to lose 10, 15 pounds can go through it quickly is because number one, he believes it's going to happen. And number two, he would rather be in shape than enjoy that donut. His idea of enjoyment is eating the chicken breast, drinking the water, going to the gym, going to bed early, getting sleep, and knowing that in a couple months or in a couple weeks or in a few weeks, he's going to be fucking shredded and there are going to be chicks fucking like staring at him on the fucking beach, okay? On the other hand, you've got fucking somebody over here who I enjoy, my, can I enjoy myself? Can I eat donuts? Can I suck down beer? And like I said, dating them out of that mindset is the biggest problem that you have as a fucking trainer, as a coach, or as a motivator, okay? So... The bottom line is, like I said, that's 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 what it really is. Um, you know, get in shape as fast as you can. No faster than that. Uh, it's just as hard for the person to let, lose the last few pounds as it is to lose like 100 plus pounds, okay? And the reason why somebody who's been in shape before can get in shape more easily is because number one, he believes it. Okay, he doesn't doubt himself whatsoever. He knows if he puts the work and he's gonna get the results. And number two, Somebody who's been in shape before knows how good it is to be in shape, to be healthy, and he would much rather do what it takes, the chicken breast, the water, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, the cardio, whatever he needs to do to get in shape. He would rather do that and feels good doing that. He enjoys doing that as opposed to somebody who enjoys doing shit that's only going to fuck him over and make his situation worse, okay? Enjoys doing that because his idea of enjoying himself is running around with a shirt off, okay, having great sex, fucking guys being impressed fucking by his physique when he's in the gym lifting heavy weights, as opposed to somebody else whose a idea of enjoyment is, I'm going to get home early today, I'm going to have fucking a bunch of pizza, a bunch of beer, a bunch of fucking donuts, I'm going to watch fucking Netflix until three in the morning, okay? So like I said, that's uh, basically what it is. Diet hard, get the right mindset, and it's hard for everybody, whether you're going from good to elite or whether you're going from terrible to good. Anyway, if you want any help trying to figure this shit out, I've got nutrition program, workout program, group, group coaching, and one-on-one -on -one coaching down below. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't, and aside from that, I will see you in the next video.